Uh, I'm Shona McIntosh. I'm a female rifle shooter for Great Britain. Um, I do two events that will be at the Olympics. One of them is 10 meter air rifle, which is shot indoors at 10 meters. Um, and the other one is 50 meter three positions, which is shot outdoors, which is what we're here today. It's a bit of a family business for me. Um, my parents both shot internationally and my big sister's a double Olympian already. Um, so yeah, family business. Um, I actually really didn't want to do it when I was little. Um, it was kind of, it was my sister's thing and I just wasn't really interested. I had other stuff that I was interested in. Um, but after she'd been to the Olympics in London, um, I went down. I was actually really fortunate that it was in London so I could go and watch uh, with my mum and getting to see that and see what the so the international type shooting um, was like. Um, I was then far more interested and kind of asked dad at that point, can I please start? And uh, kind of went off from there, yeah. So um, so I was at the, the first major thing for me was Commonwealth Games in 2014 um, in Glasgow. Um, I was just, start, ju just out of school, 18 years old at that point, so that was my first sort of major thing. Um, and then since then I've done the um, second Commonwealth Games in Gold Coast, um, multiple World Cups all over the place, um, Munich in some places, Rio, uh, where else have I been? Baku. Um, been to two European Games um, with Team GB already. Uh, in Baku and in Minsk, um, so yeah, a bit, bit of a mix. How have you? It's been a bit choppy, I guess, a bit like most people, um, ups and downs, with, especially with COVID and things. Um, so it's it's been a different experience than what we might have expected, but it's been good to be honest. Yeah. Um, and, and now at this point, we're so close. Um, I'm getting really excited about it. Yeah. Just a completely different experience than what I might have like expected a year ago. Um, so it's it's hard to tell what my, my chances might be, but I'm hopeful. Um, I'll be happy if I can put in some good performances, especially given the complete lack of competitions up until this point so yeah good performance and I'll be happy. Uh, training starts almost as soon as we get there um, and yeah I'm there, I'm there for about two weeks and then come home um, straight after my last event um, so yeah it's exciting I've got about a month left of, of training before we head over and um, kitting out tomorrow and um, various bits and bobs to go but yeah it's, uh, it's all getting pretty real now. <laughs> it's really strange now thinking that this is my first one and um, I kind of feel in some ways that I've already been to some but I obviously haven't um, just from experiences that I've heard from my sister and um, so yeah like this being my first one and, and getting to go I'm super excited to actually like go and experience it for myself yeah. yeah. Um, so there's five shooters and um, our last one just got selected today I think and um, so yeah I'm like really excited to we know each other sort of vaguely but we don't really get to spend that much time together because um, we do different disciplines and um, so yeah really excited to be part of that team and to sort of we're a good close-knit bunch I think um, I think we all get on really well so I'm yeah really excited to be part of that yeah. internationally I think even then I'm, I'm quite good friends with a lot of the girls I shoot against and um, so you know we're all we're all rooting for each other in some ways obviously we'd all like to win ourselves but we'd all be really happy if, if one of the others won because yeah. we all know what we've been through and um, so yeah and dad's great and um, we work really well as a coach athlete pair and um, because we get on really well as a daddy daughter pair I guess I guess and yeah. um, I always describe him as like my best friend so it's really easy to get on with him <laughs> pretty cool yeah it's a pretty cool concept I guess and um, it's kind of it's different and um, the sports kind of it's quite sort of low-key I guess there's not a huge amount of people who do it and um, but we're definitely trying to sort of bring more people into it and encourage so especially youngsters into the sport and um, because it is it's a great sport and um, to do and I think yeah like encouraging girls to get into it and if I can like help in any way just by being a role model I think that's really awesome a go I guess like you don't know what it's like until you give it a go really it's kind of there's a lot of perceptions around the sport and um, but they're most of them aren't true so I think uh, yeah I think give it a go if you can um, there's loads of actual local clubs and things and um, they're kind of not very well known about I guess but yeah like a quick internet search will, will show you um, your local club and get down have a go yeah. <laughs>